On this edition of Healthy OC, we'll be talking about the pituitary gland, which is often called the master gland of the body. Sometimes a tumor can grow inside the gland. That's where our guest comes in to discuss the causes, effects, and treatments, pituitary glands. I'm not going to get into all the other formal names you have on that. We welcome yeah. Dr. Christopher Duma, Assistant Clinical Professor of Neurosology and Neuros Neuro surgery at UC Irvine. It's tough for me. You're a doctor. I'm a broadcaster. That's I'm good. glad you don't do things like I do when you're actually operating on people. Uh, t talk about the different types. Thanks very much, Ed. Um, this is a, a fascinating little little gland. It's only the size of a pea. And uh, anything that goes wrong with it can wreak havoc in the body. Uh, it sits between our eyes and is about an inch deep into the brain. And this little pea-sized gland, if it gets a tumor in it, can start secreting various types of hormones. I think we're all familiar with Jaws on the James Bond episodes, the very tall fellow with the grotesque features in the face. This is a, this is a hormone secreting problem that he had uh, of growth hormone mm. secretion. And it's a condition called acromegaly. And your face gets coarse, the brow gets thicker, and the jaw gets thicker. The hands get larger, the feet get larger, that type of thing. At what age does it normally hit people, or is there any such thing? Is well, it? actually, there. I mean, if, if that particular problem hits a teenager or a child, they can grow to be a giant. You know, if the, if the bone plates fuse as an adult, you don't grow to be a giant. The only soft tissues that grow are the face, hands, and feet. Mm -hmm. But if you're a child and you have this tumor, you can grow to enormous heights. I just saw a, a patient of mine literally a few months ago I operated on who was seven feet five inches tall. To give you an idea, Shaq is seven one. So this is a tall young man. Now, you, you mentioned different, uh, the grotesque fish, some, some things that happen, but generally, are there any, any regular uh, symptoms that we, we might recognize at an early age or an early, early start? Well, in that case, that's one of them. But, uh, you know, if your child starts growing to be an enormous size, you, that would be picked up very quickly by your pediatrician, especially here in America. In third world countries, this might go unnoticed. Uh, but things like milk coming out of your breast as a male, or impotence, or loss of your menses, your periods as a woman, these are signs that the pituitary gland is malfunctioning. Okay, if something goes terribly wrong with the pituitary gland, as you're saying, or if there's a tumor, it cannot be removed. You cannot do without your pituitary gland. Well, you wouldn't take the whole gland out. What you try to do is to turn off the hormone in some way. And this, this hormone can be managed by a medicine sometimes, just a pill, can stop the hormone secretion. Mm. But for larger tumors, the ones that grow to a size where they, they become dangerous to actually our vision, taking our vision, mm. because of the size, remember I told you they're right near the optic nerves, uh, we have to take those out surgically. Mm. And how's that done? Well, notoriously, it's done through the nose. Mm -hmm. uh, this operation, you can avoid doing an open craniotomy, opening up the head, and actually operating through a nostril. Uh, we pass a, an endoscope, a small you know, vi video camera device through the, through the nostril and get to the base of the brain, crack through the base of the brain, and we're able to remove the tumor that way. Mm -hmm. Dr. Dumont, we thank you very much for coming back. It's been, been a while since we've seen you. Appreciate it very much the information. It's my pleasure. Thanks. All right, thanks a lot, Dr. Mm -hmm.